Hey guys, it's Belle. So I'm here to show you my August product empties. As usual, I have a bag full of stuff to show you guys and I cannot believe it's the end of the month already. I say that every single month, but it just seems like summer is flying by. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and just touch on these hand soaps I used up this month. So I used up another of the Peck Sniff soaps in the Ruby Orange and Watermelon and I love this scent. I absolutely would recommend it. I was able to find this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls so if you shop at one of those stores um, if you see it I mean go ahead and smell it because it smells like a really juicy watermelon candy kind of smell and I absolutely love it for summer so I would repurchase this for sure so for $4.99 I think it's a really delicious scent and a good value because this bottle is 16.9 ounces so it's a big size then next to that, I used up a discontinued scent from Bath & Body Works. This is the Blue Skies in Blooms soap. And it was a very nice um, kind of fruity floral hand soap that I really enjoyed. And I kind of wish that I would have used it last year in 2015 because I probably would have repurchased more of this one as well. So I don't know if maybe Bath & Body Works re-released this with a different name. So if any of you guys know, you know, let me know. But um, I really liked it. So yeah, I'm sad I can't rehaul this, but it was a really, really nice scent for sure. Okay, so I also used up some skincare items. I did use up a sheet mask this month from Tony Moly, and you can buy this brand at Sephora, but I did buy this at Amazon, and I really loved this. It's a skin purifying mask. And it's a sheet mask, of course, but I just really enjoyed it. I found it very refreshing for summer, so I absolutely would repurchase this for sure. I w it was great. Um, and then going from left to right, I finished up a cleanser from Clarins. This is the Cleansing Milk with Alpine Herbs. It's for the normal or dry skin. And they have another formula if you're like combination oily, but I use the normal to dry skin. And I really liked it. It worked really well to remove my makeup. Um, I found it to be very gentle. I would repurchase it. The only thing is that it's pretty pricey, so it's not something I'm going to rush out and repurchase, but um, I did buy this last year in 2015. Clarins did run a 25% off site-wide sale, and that's when I picked it up because it was a good deal, but um, it is slightly, you know, cost prohibitive for a cleanser. So I'm just warning you, but it was it was good. I mean, I did like it. Then I found in a drawer in the bathroom, I was cleaning. I found one of these tubes of this Olay Regenerist Thermal Skin Polisher. And this is several years old, several years old, but it was completely sealed. It still had that like metal almost plasticky foil looking seal um, over the you know hole where it would come out of and I tested it at the sink just on my hands and it was still exactly how I remembered so I went ahead and used it on my face and I just loved it it's it's one of those that's um, kind of water activated that has that warming sensation and I really enjoyed it so if any of you guys know of a skincare scrub like this that does have that warming feel please let me know because I forgot kind of how much I really liked that so I would love to repurchase it but I do believe that this is discontinued from Olay so that was the last tube that I had then I finished up this face mask from this brand Apiche. I'm not really sure how you say it, but this came in one of my Ipsy bags over the springtime, and it's a hydrating mask. I didn't really like it. Um, I would never purchase it or recommend it, honestly. I just didn't think that it was that exciting. Um, personally, I would choose this brand in, in a sheet mask. If you needed some hydration, choose one for moisturizing over that mask that I got in my Ipsy bag. So I didn't really love that. Um, then I also used up a moisturizer from Clarins. This is the Multi-Active Day Cream. And it's very heavily fragranced, and I got this in a set, and it came with the matching night cream. But, um, you know, I don't think I would rush out and repurchase it. I do have an, actually another... Um, I guess container of this face cream so I will use it up but I just didn't really love it. I felt like it didn't soak into my skin quite as well as I wanted it to and it was a little touchy under makeup application so I didn't love it for that. Um, 
actually I kind of liked it better at nighttime, even though it's a day cream, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I just felt like I got more benefit from it at night. It didn't really do that great of a job during the day with makeup and all of that. So yeah, I'm kind of... So I used up a few lip products as well as some mini perfumes. So going from left to right, I finished a Kiko Kiss Balm and it's a lip balm product. And this is in the um, scent Milk and Honey. And I found the scent initially to be a little bit off-putting. There was something kind of slightly sour about the milk note, but I have to say it did kind of grow on me. So I did finish the entire thing, and I found it adequate as far as hydration. I would put this on before bed, and my lips felt hydrated in the morning, but I didn't find it as long-lasting as certain uh, lip products that I would wear before bed. Certain ones tend to kind of stay with you through the night, and you wake up, and you can still sort of feel it a little bit. This was not one of those. I wouldn't rush out and repurchase it, but it wasn't a bad product, so I'm just kind of indifferent about it. Um, then I also finished up a Clinique... Um, lip butter. This is one of their like lip butter lipsticks and this is in the color Berry Blush. I thought the color was really nice. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of these formulas. I find them almost too kind of um, slick if you will if you're looking for a lipstick. I do really love lip gloss, but if, I, if I'm going for a lipstick, I prefer something a little bit more satin and these were just a little too buttery for me, but I did like the color. And then I also used up a mini size from um, Bare Minerals, their Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss. This is in the color Rule Breaker. It was just a very perfect sort of neutral colored lip gloss, like a nude color, and I loved it. It was very versatile, and I would purchase it in a bigger size. I thought it was really pretty. And then I also finished up two of these um, perfumes from the brand Mark, which is sort of a more youthful version of Avon, and I bought these quite a while ago, a few years ago. Um, someone I know was selling Avon, so I was trying to help her out, and I purchased a trio of these um, mini, like, summer-themed instant vacation uh, perfume sprays. I do have one still that I'm currently using, but I did finish up these two. So the one on the left is Ibiza Soul, and then the one on the right is in the scent Costa Rica. I would say that the Costa Rica one was my favorite because it was a gorgeous watermelon fragrance, so I really, really liked it. The other one I just was like, eh, kind of indifferent about, just kind of like a clean, kind of fresh, summery smell, slightly perfumey, but I really liked the Costa Rica. It was more like fruity and light and just something that you could throw on in the hot summer heat, you know what I mean? So I liked that one the most. So I have a few sample type items that I went ahead and used this month. So starting from left to right, I did kind of group everything in categories and I'll tell you how I grouped them. So the three products on the very left, the Clarins Shape Shaping Facial Lift, the Clinique Custom Repair Serum, and then the Clinique Even Better Essence Lotion, those three items. I just did not find these effective at all. Um, they were pretty deluxe size samples, so I was able to use them several times, and I just really don't see the point of any of these three items at all. I just wouldn't waste my money on them. Um, I can honestly say that I really didn't even enjoy using them as samples, so... I kind of find them to be a waste. So then in the center I used from Cora, this came in my um, Sephora Play Box, one of them. This is the Wild Rose, this is the Brightening Sleeping Facial. And I actually did like this stuff. My husband would joke when I would use this that I smelled like a hotel because it smells like hotel soap, something like that. Um, but I found it really hydrating. It definitely has a heavier feeling on the skin compared to just your typical night moisturizer. But I really did get a lot of um, softness, you know, in my skin in the morning. It just really made my skin feel really smooth and soft. So I did really enjoy it. Um, but the scent is quite strong. So if you're sensitive to fragrances, it might not be for you. But then on the very right, these samples I absolutely loved and would purchase in full-size items. So I used up a Smashbox Camera Ready. This is the BB Cream, and mine is in the shade Light, and I just loved it. It had excellent coverage for a BB Cream. I know sometimes they can be a little light on coverage, but I just found it 
just amazing. It just really worked with my skin very well, and um, I really liked the coverage, and the color was really nice. And then I also used up a sample from Moon's Harvest of their Sugar Scrub. When I received this in my recent Moon's Harvest haul, I did say that I did not like the scent of this Pink Sandcastles, and that is absolutely true. It's just a little too... I don't even know, like pungent, beachy, strong, just not a scent that I would purchase. But the formula of this scrub is to die for. Like, it is awesome. So I am definitely going to purchase the Moon's Harvest Sugar Scrub in a different scent. 100%, I cannot wait to buy one of these. It was really, really great. Great exfoliant, great moisturization. I loved it. Okay, so I also used some body care items. Um, on the very left, I used... A Spa Wisdom, this is a Zemia and Marula Oil Shower Cream from The Body Shop, and I got this a while ago. My store had these on clearance for a dollar, so I got two of them. I've already used one and showed it to you guys a few months ago now, um, but it was really, really nice. It almost had like a thick jelly kind of consistency to it, and it had really um, small exfoliating pieces that were very, very gentle. So it was nice. I thought it smelled pretty good, but it's discontinued, so I can't repurchase it. Um, then I also used up one of these tins of the Nivea cream. This is a full-size tin, and this was amazing. I mean, it's just the Nivea that I remember as a child. My mom used to use it, and so I was on the search for true Nivea. The Nivea that we can buy in the United States is a thinner consistency and it's more of like a lotion to me. This stuff is so incredibly thick and the difference is is that this particular tin is made in Germany. So this is like the German formula. Um, the version that we get in the U.S. is made in Mexico. So there's definitely a formula difference. So if you miss the old style Nivea, the really, really thick, dense cream that you really have to warm in your hands and make it spreadable for your on your skin, this is the stuff. And I got it at Amazon. Um... I just love the smell. I'm not a big baby powder person, but it has sort of like a soft baby powder and lemon kind of scent. I just really like the citrus note in this, so I would absolutely repurchase it. If you have really dry skin, this is one to consider, but again, this is the German formula, not the one that's made in Mexico. Um, then I also used up a body, an ultra soft body butter in the Lemon Leaf fragrance from C.O. Bigelow, and this was great. I got this at Bath & Body works a while ago. It was a nice, fresh, kind of herbal, lemon kind of smell. It was really, really nice and refreshing for summer, so I really enjoyed it. I would purchase that again. Um, and then I also used up a couple hair care items over here. I used up a Joy Joico gel. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's called Power Gel. It's sculpting gel. I mix this with my... Um, my Nexus gel that's in the rose gold packaging, the extra gel, because I just hate it, and it needs more staying power. So I mix this with it, and it gives it the staying power that it needs. And I got this at TJ Maxx, and I think it was like $7.99, so it was a good price. Um, or maybe it was $9.99, I don't know, somewhere around there. And then I also used up a conditioner from Banditere. This is the Argan Oil Sleek and Smooth Conditioner. It's very, very thin, kind of like a lotion consistency, so don't expect like a really thick, dense kind of hair conditioner, but I did find it pretty moisturizing. I got this on clearance, I think, at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for about eight bucks. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, rush out and rehaul it, but it wasn't bad. It's pretty good, it's pretty good conditioner, I would say, overall. So then to finish up August, I do have two random products I want to show you guys that I finished. And the one that's laying on its side is kind of a big sized bottle, so I wanted to make sure you could see the whole thing. Hopefully it's showing up here in the frame. Um, but this is a Method Fabric Softener in the scent Lavender Lilac. And it was on clearance at Target. It was normally $6.99 and I paid $3.48 for it, so it was 50% off. And I wanted to give it a try. I had never tried the Method Laundry products. I really like their soaps and that kind of thing for the kitchen and bathroom, but never tried any laundry items. So I have to say I wasn't that impressed with it. Um, 
The scent was nice, but I didn't smell any of it really lingering on the clothes. That was a little bit disappointing. Not that I need something overly scented, but I just felt like it was kind of like the Mrs. Meyers laundry care products that I've used before, and those aren't very scented, so I kind of feel like this is the same type of thing. Um, as far as it being more of a natural product, I mean, I think that that's, you know, a positive, but I just don't know if I would repurchase it. Also, I didn't really love the pump top. At first, I thought this is going to be great because it's really simple. Just pump it in, you know, the fabric softener dispenser and you're good to go. But I always water down my fabric softener. So I do that because it helps prevent like spotting on your clothes. And so I still had to get out like my laundry detergent cup and fill it with some water and dump it in to kind of thin out the fabric softener. So I just found it to be kind of like an extra step where if I use a regular fabric softener, there's already a cap there. I put some of it in the dispenser, put a little water in, and I'm good to go. So I found myself kind of jumbling things around a little bit trying to do laundry. So I don't know if this is quite the system that works for me, and I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But I really love, 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 this is a um, diamond dazzle stick from this brand Connoisseurs, and they make um, jewelry cleaning products, and I just love this. You twist the very bottom, and like a blue gel comes out of the top where the bristles are and you just use some water and it cleans your jewelry. I use it specifically for my wedding set um, and I just love it. I just find it so simple and so effective and really just a simple, easy way to clean your jewelry. So I love it and I'm absolutely going to repurchase it. So for me, that is a win item. So thank you guys so much for watching my August product empties and I'm looking forward to September. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.